YouTube. This is Bubs Comics coming at you with a quick comic haul. Uh, this is a big one for me, so I'm excited. Uh, we've got some a book off my 2020 want list. We've got some more Golden Age books, and we've got some uh, new comic book day pickups. So let's see what we should start off with first. You're right, the 2020 want list book. Boom. Oh, wait. we got to make me small and get to the hall. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> All right. Bam. Wonder Woman, number 48. This book was on my want list this year. Uh, I like doppelganger covers. I've decided that I've been picking up quite a few of those, and I'm excited about it. So uh, this one is from, oh shucks, 1951 maybe? Oh man, I can't remember. I'll, I'll check it and put it down below. So uh, there we go, Wonder Woman number 48. It's got Wonder Woman battling Wonder Woman. So before I ended up getting my last Wonder Woman book, which I showed, um, I did not uh, think I would get both. So I thought, I, I had them both on the list, but I more or less thought that I'd get one or the other. Um, I did not expect to be able to get them both. So here it is. Uh, I made an offer. You know, these these go, obviously, anything uh, Golden Age and, and Wonder Woman especially tends to hold its value. So these were going for, for a good chunk of change. Made an offer at like half of what the guy was, was asking, and he took it. So never be afraid to make an offer. Uh, the worst they can say is no. So in this case, uh, he took it. So I got lucky. Uh, Wonder Woman number 48. Check that out. It says, The Amazon princess meets her deadliest rival in an amazing duo. Duel. Uh, Wonder Woman versus Robot Woman. Now, I don't know if this is the first appearance of Robot Woman, but I would assume it is. And what's really interesting about this to me is that look how angry she is, and look how pretty and, and passive she is. That's the robot. And you can tell by the, uh, you know, customary bzz, bzz, marks, right? Look all over it. Bzz, 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 bzz. I mean, that's standard robot uh, noise making. So, uh, so you can tell that she's the electrified. That's her. And she's the one holding the bomb, too. So it's like, here, Wonder Woman, I just came to give you this bomb. Jeez, give me a break. Woman was like, get out of here. Get out of the window. And she's going to throw her out the window. So pretty tough stuff, but just great. I, I also like... In the same way that the other book was a doppelganger book as well, uh, the other one, Wonder Woman, I got uh, off my want list. I like seeing the entire front of Wonder Woman and the entire back. So, you know, you, you get two for. The reason I wanted the other one more than this one is because this one had her sandals, and I like her boots better. So this one had the lace-up sandals, kind of like gladiator lace. But in any case, uh, when I got this book, it was much rougher. <laughs> did a lot of cleaning. Uh, did a lot of repair on it. So, uh... So it's ready to go now. I love it. Wonder Woman number 48. And uh, we'll keep the Golden Age rolling, I suppose. <clears throat> we got uh, Super Comics number something. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, I was so excited to get them. I love this one. Um, it's so cool. Uh, I love Dick Tracy uh, books. Uh, Super Comics featuring Dick Tracy. This is actually my first... Golden Age Dick Tracy, so I'm happy to have that. When I say Golden Age, I always mean pre-code. So, uh, 1947. I don't really recognize much of the ages. I don't care for... People are like, oh, well, it's the Platinum Age, or, you know, the Atomic Age, or all this stuff. I mean, those are just ways to break down. Um, there's there's the code, which stopped all the, all the great stuff, right? And then that led to the Silver Age superheroes, and then you have after the, and then you have when the code disappears too. People talk about modern books. To me, a modern book, a real modern book, is any book that uh, no longer has the code on it. So to me, there's pre-code, code, and post-code, and those are the only three ages that I care about. So the rest is just things for people to argue about. 1947 Dick Tracy book, and I gotta tell you, this thing is rough. Um, you know, when you think Dick Tracy now. I think that you think it's kind of a, and these these are Dell books. Um, you would think that they're not as as rough, you know, that they're kind of lighthearted or soft. Uh, but man, this thing has got a killer uh, interior of death. You know, I mean, it's just I'll open it up and show you guys because, well, I mean, that's what we're here for, right? To appreciate comics. So, see if I can manage not to tear it apart and put a big tape pull in it. So. All right, so Super Comics featuring Dick Tracy. It's in really good shape. 
uh, for its age, of course, 1947. So I hope this is the one I'm thinking of. Sure looks like it. Yeah, okay. So I'll spare you the, the exact story. So there's a splash page, but there's not much of one. It's mostly comic strip. So, so here you go. He's going along. Dick Tracy. That's Dick Tracy. Even though you're used to seeing him in yellow, that's actually his like trench coat. So when he's just wearing a suit, he wears a black suit and a green hat most of the time. And so he's going through here. So look, so now we get to see in some of this action here. You got this guy. He's aiming a gun at the other guy in the seat. You know, he's, huh? What's going on? So anyway, long story short, this guy has to change a tire. Someone in the other panel, somebody had a pocket knife and he slashed his tire. So look, he's working under the tire, right? And then this guy kicks out the jack from under the tire, from under the car. He kicks the jack while the guy's still under there. And look at that. The thing comes down and crashes him on the head. Let's see if we can get that to focus in on that. Look at that. Bump, crack. I mean, it just cuts him in the neck. And they don't show any, well, they show a little bit of blood. There's a little red around the top of his head. It's hard to see. There's another panel of him underneath the car. And then yet, I think the one, two, I think there's a third panel. Yeah, look, over here, another panel where the when the cops show up right and dick tracy and he's still under there i mean that's pretty horrific stuff uh i when you think about dick tracy i don't think you think about you know hardcore crime books but uh you know they didn't pull any punches back then so that's why i say there's there's pre-code and then there's code and there's postcode because stuff like this would not be allowed during the code so pretty cool super comics featuring dick tracy Number whatever, I'll put it down below. Uh, we don't get too torp about that. All right, there you go. Here's another one. Super Comics, this one's got a number on the front, number 88. Check that out. Super Comics featuring Dick Tracy. Oh, look, he's holding the gun. I like all the ones where he's holding the gun out. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, Chester Gould art, not everyone uh, likes his style because it's very, uh, you know, comic strippy. I mean, to be <laughs> to not put too fine a point on it, but uh, but I enjoy it. I think it's very uh, cool to me. So, and here we got another Golden Age book here. Super Duck, the Cockeyed Wonder. <laughs> so, <laughs> actually, it's, there you go. So I'm going to put this uh, up at work. So this one is going on the wall at work. Uh, Super Duck, the Cockeyed Wonder. Uh, I don't think you can get away with naming a book this today. Uh, of course, you know, cockeyed just means like cross-eyed. So uh, if your eyes are, you know, pointed to the middle, I think they call that cockeyed. So it says, it's so that Super Duck has fallen down, which he's, they call him Soup or Soups, but Super Duck has fallen down the steps, broke every bone and every banister. And it says, it's the insurance company, Soup. They're calling to let you know your accident policy just lapsed. Womp womp. So, <laughs> so there he is. And I like the covers because not all of them do it, but they really accentuate the cockeyedness of Super Duck. If you see there, his eyes are are together. And not all the covers do that. In the early run, in the early part of this run, every cover had him cross-eyed. Uh, but then later, they kind of eased up on it, and he wasn't cross-eyed in every on every cover. So, so there you go. Super Duck. This is an Archie book, uh, the Cockeyed Wonder. So number fifty-five. It's a pretty short run. I think there's only maybe 75 in the run or something like that. It's not that long, but but pretty fun stuff. And that's going up at work because I just I just love it. All right, we got a little bit of time left. We'll get into uh, my pickups for a new comic book day. If you guys aren't into that, you can cut it off now. Uh, but here's there's only three. So here's Darth Vader number three by Lee In Hyuk or He In Hyuk Lee or I can I don't know which way it goes. But anyway, there it is. I just thought it was pretty cool. I don't usually pick up uh, the A covers for these uh, Star Wars books, but I thought I'd go ahead and give this one a shot because it was a Lee cover, and I, and I really like uh, his style. So I thought he captured um, Padme or whoever. I think that's Padme. I think he captured her pretty well. So and Darth Vader looks good as always. And then the same book, actually, but uh, the cover that has the... Um, the Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary. 
So you guys know I'm picking up these and putting them in a binder. So this is number nine of 36. It's nice to know after all this, uh, you know, sickness and stuff going on and the delay to the comics that I didn't miss one. So I picked up eight uh, like two, three weeks ago and I thought, man, I hope they didn't cancel any of those titles or move them to digital or anything like that. But this one turned out to still be available and just dropped uh, this week. So there you go. Nine out of 36. So we're on our way. Uh, hopefully we'll at least get to 10 or 15 soon because the binder is getting pretty full. I had a uh, one inch binder and it's not going to cut it. So I'm either going to have to do multiple one inch binders or um, probably four of them. Or I'm going to have to do um, a bigger binder and size down even. But the problem with the binder is when you put the pages in, they start pulling on the binder. They get very heavy. Um, so if you stand it up, all of a sudden you'll pull it off the shelf and there'll be a bunch of them that have come loose and have slacked down. So it's not a perfect system. So you want to stay in the smaller binders if you can. Uh, and the last one, Witchblade. 25th anniversary Witchblade number one I'm sure I've got one or two copies of this book already but I didn't have the 25th anniversary edition so there you go Michael Turner cover it's a wraparound but the other side's not as good as this one so we'll just focus on that one look at that Witchblade and as always look at the detail on the Witchblade yeah sure why not look at that. Ah, man that glare we're not gonna apologize for it but psh. It's getting rough in the comic room these days we've got extra bright lights everything's pumping all around us keeping us happy and keeping our books easy to read so that's my haul and we'll end it with uh wonder woman uh 2020 want list we're down to one book and this is uh what this is still july no no we're in august so we're down to one book and we still have September, October, November, December. So we got four months. We got one one book and four months to get it in. Uh, I think we're gonna make it. I really do. Uh, the the book I'm the last book I'm after isn't exactly easy to get. Uh, it's a little bit more. It's one of the more expensive ones on the list. But with four books for with four months to focus on it, we should be able to do this. So there you go. Wonder Woman number forty eight. We're gonna end with that one. And we'll catch you next time on Bubs Comics. Remember to read a comic. And don't apologize for the glare. Bye-bye.